The Old Man and the Sea, part 29, third part of that part 29, because I deeply mistrust my battery, you know? Uh, I think there is a difference, I bought two more batteries for my camera, and of course I didn't buy the original ones because they are much more expensive. Uh, and, you know, what happens with the original battery? I'm recording a video here and the battery is over, so it cuts the video and then turns off the camera. So I kind of have all, all of my work saved. I discovered in a very unpleasant way that the, the you know, the, the other battery uh, doesn't do so. So I was like in this long, long video, 20 minutes, almost 20, like 17 minutes. And then the battery was over and then I said, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll continue from that point. But I just lost everything. So now every time I see, you know, uh, the alert uh, light, you know, uh, there, I just turn off the camera immediately because I don't want to miss my work. Okay, so think about it. Even though he knows nobody is worthy of eating the fish, he's going to kill the fish, he's going to take the fish to the market if he can, and he's going, and people are going to eat it. Okay, that's uh, interesting. Uh, I do not understand these things, he thought, but it is good that we do not have to kill the sun and, or the moon or the stars. It is enough to live on the sea and kill our true brothers. Now, he thought, I must think about the drag. It has its perils and its merits. Peril it is a somewhat more rare way, way of saying danger, right? I may lose so much line that I will lose him if he makes his effort. And the drag made by the oars is in place and the boat loses all its all her lightness. Her lightness prolongs both our suffering, but it is my safety since he has a great speed that he has never yet employed. Her referring to the boat, he referring to the fish, right? No matter what passes, I must gut the dolphin so he does not spoil and eat some of him to be strong. When you gut, you, you know, cut the belly and take all of the guts, the stomach and other things inside. <clears throat> Okay, now I will rest an hour more and feel that he is solid and steady before I move back to the stern and do the work and make the decision. In the meantime, I can see how he acts and if he shows any changes. The oars are a good trick, but it, is, but it has reached the time to play for safety. He is much fish still. Uh, we use that expression, he is much man, right? Is still, uh, he's much player is still. He's much fish is still, and I saw that the hook was in the corner of his mouth, and he has kept his mouth tight shut. The punishment of the hook is nothing, the punishment of hunger, and that he is against something that he doesn't he does not comprehend is everything. Rest now, old man and let him work until your next duty comes. He rested for what he believed to be two hours. The moon did not rise now until late, and he had no way of judging the time. Nor was he really resting, except comparatively. He was still bearing the pull of the fish across his shoulder, shoulders, but he placed his left hand on the gunwale, of the bow and confided more and more of the res the resistance to the fish to the skiff itself resistance to the fish to the skiff itself okay uh, gunnel so here you have the you know the bore the the, the, the top of the, the boat and then you have like a kind of wood here that the gunnel I, I put a picture there in Quizlet 